All right, okay, so we're back. This is, uh, I don't know, I think day number four, but uh, I didn't really do anything to today until about start, didn't start towing on three in the afternoon. Uh, so doing up some of the, the trim, again, for the inside, I changed my mind on this bottom plate, what I was doing with it. Uh, you know, it was about the third time I changed my mind on it. Uh, and I think this way is going to work out pretty good because I wanted to have this bit of a shelf here. Um, and of course, due to the lot of inconsistencies that uh, was done on this window uh, to start with, <laughs> it's kind of a pain in the butt. So um, I made this all out of 2x4, this framing. So cutting and ripping. So this bottom plate, as you can see, I kind of countersunk it in here. Now, my, my reason for that is because if you see here, there's, the woods wouldn't be on this edge very much and as you said there's nothing to screw into and if you you know when you're screwing into the, the edge of wood it tends to break uh, so that was why I gave this a little bit of a lip so it will slide under the window and then uh, that way I'll, I'll drill some holes in here on an angle and put some screws in there to hold it there right and then of course this other board was just a, a top plate to make it even with the windowsill and when it's all screwed down and sanded painted you won't even see that line there at all uh, I got this piece I made that's gonna fit up in here for where they didn't put that piece of trim in like they did here on the side you can see it there they did it on, on both sides in the bottom of the drywall but they didn't do it up here on the top so I want to put a piece in there. You can see I got it insulated all the way around. Um, normally I do you do the the inside last, uh, but there's a reason that I got all this stuff for the inside. And I'll go outside and show it here. So I got my stuff outside uh, finally ready to go as well. And as you can see. If you, you can might be able to see down in here there's a nice hole down in there there's a little bit of a hole there uh, there's you know there in between the boards there's some holes uh, same on this side yeah big hole there big hole down in here here so I want to fill all these holes with foam and of course what's going to happen is it's going to want to go inside so if I do the inside framing first then I can start spraying the foam in these holes and then start covering it up as I go along and uh, I should avoid a little bit of a mess, I hope. At least that's the idea. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get all these put in there, and then I will uh, be back when I'm doing the foam and putting the outside on. All right, so as you can see, I got my bottom plate screwed down. I got my just put two screws in on the side plates there. Same on this one. I got my board up behind the drywall there. Yeah, I got my top plate in. This one I'm not going to bother to screw in right now. I'm just going to stick her in here for now. I'm going to get to the oops, get to the outside stuff here. Oops. And like you say, this one will, uh, you know. I'll put a couple screws in here and then I'll give her a sanding which will help hide this groove there, even the edges up a bit. Um, I countersunk or counter drilled all the holes because uh, when you start cutting wood up into thin strips like this, it has a nasty habit of splitting on you when you put screws in. Uh, as you can see, this one here, you can see she kind of, even with drilling a hole, she split a little. Yeah, it really sucks if the thing splits on you <laughs> completely. There's no doubt. So, uh, a little bit of sanding on that. Um, you know, you, you can see you can see how tight it is there and loose here, and then over here it's tight up here and loose down here. Uh, the window square, but the window hole's not. <laughs> and if you guys remember from the previous, the one of the beginning movies here when I first. Uh, started filming doing this uh, when you take your measurement you so there'll be trim put over across this on each side right so 
when you figure out the size of window you need you take that trim off and then of course you can see now this is my window frame so you can see the edge of the window frame so you measure from here to here because the 2x4 should be on this side of the window frame on both sides and as you seen when I first started what happened is they actually brought the, the drywall over an inch and a half or two inches past the stud so when I measured for the window it was the wrong size uh, so and I think I said it in one of the other videos but I'll say it again uh, so you know if you're working on an old house you're putting in some new windows make sure you take it right apart do your measurements then and then order your windows it'll save you a little bit of a, a heartache down, down the road uh, you know I picked out a bunch of stuff on here how they jerry-rig things didn't do stuff properly you know so of course I've had to kind of jerry-rig it now to get it to fit um, you know but at least it has the insulation going around it uh, and I'm gonna fill all those other holes on the other side with foam here shortly and stuff so all in all you know for uh, you know my <laughs> having to deal with a bunch of screw-ups I think that uh, I don't think she's gonna turn out too bad and then of course what you do with this stuff here is you just get uh, paintable caulking and you just run a bead of caulking down in here and then you just you know wipe it off so that it's flush with the windowsill and the wood and then when you paint it you, can, you won't even be able to tell you won't see it there it'll look it'll look fine uh, you know and the only I, I screwed this up because there's a, a screw on the side of the window frame and I just came out a little too far so I'll have to fill that with some either wood filler or spackle uh, kind of a pain in the butt but oh well it is what it is all right so I got the inside in uh, so now I can get on this uh, outside and start filling my uh, some of them holes so uh, I gotta grab all my stuff and get it all together and then uh, I'll be back and kind of film putting some of that foam in there and going for her. all right so I noticed I bang my camera a few times so I'm hoping <laughs> I just kind of straighten it but I don't want to take the time to check it to see if it so it did come out straight or not all right so so for this guy I already pre-drilled my two holes to smack that sucker in there and then tighten the screw up. Let's see on that side I can see that he, he pulled out. Let's see. Pull her in there. Suck that screw in there nice and deep. <laughs> All right. Now, because I had to take out this to get down to this siding for the window to fit properly, I have to make that inch up. So I've got a spacer here I'm putting in behind my trim board. I just want to check. Yeah, that lines up good there. I won't be able to put the top one in because I have to recut the top one because of course the height of these change which changes the angle. So I'll do that tomorrow. This is getting too late right now, but I just want to get that. I think he said the oh that's the wrong one. <laughs> that's the wrong one. I just want to get that foam in there and get that stuff going because there's supposed to get rain here. They're calling for it in a couple of days, but around here the weatherman's famous to say, yeah, rain in three days, and it, you know, it rains two days early. <laughs> so, I don't trust them too much. Alright, that's a nice, not a bad fit. The end's a little screwed up, but, you know, pound her in there, she'll look nice, you know. So, alright. Okay, <laughs> now let's try and take this guy out of here. <laughs> there we go. Let's just 
jamming up in the, the stucco here. The stucco edges aren't very smooth. Uh, those guys I was going to put on. Right. Let's hope that. Uh, Missed the holes. I was gonna nail these guys. Ow! Hold on. I'm getting lots of slivers today. And of course, this is the one thing I forgot to grab was my nails. So I don't need you out here. No. I wonder if I should screw them. You know what? The hell with it. The screw them. <laughs> Uh, and oh, let's go. Let's see about here. And if I up and hit a hole, then I can obviously just do another one. Not too worried about the the other boards because those are just spacers. So, ow. so they can uh, yeah. they split, they split, and ain't gonna matter. All right, Whew. put the bit up there. Okay, so I got that guy and. Uh, This guy, right? Okay, we'll go with this side first. So, I guess maybe I'll start with screws. The thing is, with this foam, when you spray it in there, yeah, it expands, but it takes it a bit of time before it expands, so that's why nine out of ten times you put way too much in. But I'd rather have too much than not enough. So, so, I don't think it'd be strong enough to push the stucco out. But considering the way they attach the drywall, it might be strong enough to push that out. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> but well, we'll see what happens. Like you say, you gotta love, gotta love doing renovations. All right. So another stuff is if you're gonna use this foam, highly recommend that you put on some rubber gloves. Uh, I did that other kitchen window, and I didn't put the rubber gloves on. Of course, I got it all over my hands. I think it took about a week for it to wear off. <laughs> yeah, I just had that layer I could not get rid of. So. All right, so this is a can that I was using on the other window. I've already tested it. But... The straw is no good anymore. But this stuff in here, I should be able to still finish this can off. All right, so. a big crevice there so I just like I said I just, you know I know the stuff expands and so you're not sure how much of this you should throw in <laughs> but I just want to try and make it airtight uh, like you said what I came across on these windows before uh, when I was uh, like I said, when I ripped them all apart last year, uh, 
and clean them up to paint them as I said I was finding big space like if they just put a piece of trim over the hole and left the hole right open all the way into the house it's like you gotta be kidding <laughs> it's like no wonder that you know my first winter as I said before my first winter I had in this house was, was about four hundred dollars for heat a month my first winter and then I uh like you said, I did I did a bunch of the windows, just the outside part, and then filled those gaps up. <laughs> Oops. And that knocked my hydro down to about uh, 300 bucks a month, so it was well worth it. top one's going to be a real tough one to do because of course <laughs> we're going to be able to get close enough to them probably get the right pressure on them and I'll get it on an angle yeah. okay. good enough for now I'll have to tighten him up a little later get a better stance on him See if we can. The wall didn't come up very easy, even neither. So, all right, let's go ahead and do this side. Now, like I said, with that one last year going around, just taking the window frame off outside and filling in all the holes. Uh, oh no, I guess that was two years ago. That definitely saved me. Like, I mean, my hydro bill went to about three hundred dollars in the summer or in the winter time instead of four hundred. You know, made a huge difference. Yeah, you know, and I, and I really don't get why you wouldn't uh, bother doing this. You know, like <laughs> you seen how the window was in the first uh, couple videos I did. I showed how the how they did it, 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 you know, it just blows your mind. It doesn't make sense. So, it was either somebody who is, uh, you know, uh, inexperienced or, oh, wrong one. It's either someone inexperienced or it's somebody that is just plain and simply just being lazy. And I think it was the, I right, see so the other one. I think they were just being lazy. Because, like I said before, I'm not a carpenter by any means. But, you know, some things are just. I think common sense. Right? You know? <laughs> so. And I know I, I I did a little jerry rigging on this myself too, but like I said, I didn't have much of a choice because of the, the shit they left me. You know, had they put this in the, uh, you know, had they put the the window frame in there the way it should have been in to start with, I wouldn't have got the wrong measurement. <laughs> high one that it's really hard to get the to get pressure on it. Ouch. Of course hit my camera again. Move on that one. close but as you can see she's down in a big fucking hole. I should have my other step get a different step ladder I usually use out here. But I have to I'll get the top tomorrow. 
So I'll pull those screws out to make sure I get that in tighter up top. Yeah. But, yeah, considering that uh, the window was the wrong size and that, uh, you know, the hole ain't square, I think she turned out pretty good. You know, now I'll, uh, I'll get the top on and stuff and then get the outside finished up and, uh, you know, but that's for another day. Alright, till then, we'll see you guys.